Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about basics of JUnit. What is JUnit? JUnit is a simple open source framework to write and run repeatable tests. It is an instance of XUnit architecture for unit testing frameworks. JUnit, originally written by Eric Kama and Ken Beck, has been important in the evolution of trust driven development test driven developments first write the test case and and then write the code so that the test cases are not broken what are the benefits of uh, test uh, jnu test cases jnu test case testing unit testing belongs to a test a single unit of code please remember always a single unit of code in your class which can be a single class of for java JUnit helps us to code and test both during the development. JUnit ensures that the modifications in the code will not break your system without your knowledge. So you can be more confident if you have JUnit test, test cases covering all the scenarios. JUnit helps to test legacy code automatically and less time consuming. With with less time you can test the legacy code for example last two years you have coded something you have, you have prepared you have developed some code and and you want to test it automatically with less time then JUnit helps a lot because manual testing will, will, will be a time consuming job so for example you have a class and you have multiple methods I have taken an example say two methods you have independently these two methods has to be tested for example there is a method called int method o okay and it does some logic and it returns some value say for example it also accepts some parameters the things that we need to check is whatever parameters it accepts should be a valid one it should check for minimum and maximum then if there is null value it should check and whatever the result result value that you are going to return should be validated so we have say for example we have a return a JUnit test case so a single method in the JUnit test, test case should independently test a, a unit of unit of unit of method within a class okay so for example in this class A only this method will be tested by this, te this test method independently if there are any dependency we should m try to mock it so that in the same way there is another method again it returns string so we are going to met we are going to test this method independently when I say independently I'll call one the only this method then I will do I will expect some r return result it should be the same if it is wrong I'm going to fail the J unit test cases so this is how J unit works for example i have a a class called factorial and i have a method called calc calculate whenever i pass n okay what exactly it does it should not be less than zero that is negative values are not accepted and greater values are not accepted if it is if we are passing 13 or minus 1 it will throw illegal argument exception then we are storing result equal to 1 if n is less than 2 then result result will be will be uh, setting 1 if the if it is greater than 2 we are we are doing a for loop and we are preparing the value we are uh, preparing the value and sending it so it's a very simple program so this unit of code we are going to test with all possible values okay so this is the uh, class under test that is factorial is the, is, the, is the one that I want to test and I have written say factorial test factorial which is going to test this unit of code okay so there are a lot of scenarios for example factorial of 0 should be 1 so I am going to pass this 0 here okay it should be 1 I am expecting 1 so whenever we pass 0 here it is less than 2 so we are returning 1 and 1 
factorial of 1 should be 1 again it is less than 2 it will return 1 then factor factorial of n should be n times factorial of minus 1 so we are going to pass minus 1 okay and we are going to calculate here so here it's like how many times we are calculating then here it should be a negative number we are passing a negative number calc of minus 1 it should throw an illegal argument exception exception so in the expected case in this accepted attribute we are putting an exception class illegal argument exception so this should be successful we, we since we are passing minus 1 and we are here the negative case that is 13 20 50 I will pass that means greater than 12 so still it should give illegal argument exception so for this unit of code I am trying to push all possibilities and I make it work in other case the code coverage I am trying to do so I'll I'll try to cover this section okay I'll try to cover this section and I will try to cover this section so completely we are writing J unit test cases for only for this unit so this is what the purpose of J unit so let's run this and check how exactly it works so I'm going to run this let's see how it's going to behave if you see here for all the methods that we have that I just now explained it is giving green bar okay so this is how you can do J unit test case first remember J unit test cases should be tested independently for the particular unit if I have another method say another method in this same class so that method should be tested independently hope this video is useful thank you and all the best